Now imagine a year not being able to process the loss of your child because it's hooked up in this criminal process and it's all about the guy who did it and he's getting the attention, his pictures all over the place. And that's your reality. That is the reality for the families of those four University of Idaho, uh, Idaho students. It's a, a year now that we're marking uh, when they were murdered. 21-year-old best friends, Kaylee Gonzalez and Maddie Mojan, 20-year-old boyfriend and girlfriend, Ethan Chapin and Zana Carnoodle, all stabbed to death in this, like, notoriously grisly scene inside the girl's home early morning hours, November 13. A month later, in some amazing investigating, 28-year-old Washington State University criminology teaching assistant Brian Koberger arrested. The trial set to begin next year. Tracking it all along, News Nation senior correspondent Brian Enton, and from the right angle, investigatively, of course, but the spotlight in terms of who matters has always been on the victims and their families. Uh, and he sat down again with the Gonsalves family. And Brian, I appreciate you staying on it, but just as much, the focus. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's really all um, about the victims' families and, and what they're going through. And, and, you know, they're not doing well. I mean, they're, they're just not. Uh, you know, Kaylee's mom told me that people ask her all the time, oh, oh how are you doing? How, how are you doing? Because people don't know what else to say. She says, oh, I'm, you know, we're doing good. We're doing... We're doing good, but but she says they're actually not doing well. I mean, they have to deal with this every single day um, and, and not only deal with the grief of losing their daughter, but the ongoing delayed court process. And then they go to the court hearings, Chris, um, which is just unbelievably painful and disturbing for them because it's such a small courtroom. Um, listen to what um, Kaylee's parents told me uh, about about having to go to all of these hearings. The worst part, obviously, is being in the same room with him. I know what he has done. It makes me sick that he sits there in his suit, yeah. and he sits there and taps his hands, and, and you're just sitting there, and he, you know, sits there and rocks back and forth in the chair, and I'm thinking, why is he sitting in a big old judge chair and all dressed up in a fresh haircut? And I've never, we, I've, I've looked it up, never seen another murderer or whatever he is convicted um, up to this this point of a case, <clears throat> not in handcuffs, not in shackles, one or the other or both and in orange. That really bothers for them. Chris. That really yeah, bothers sure. them that that the judge allowed them that allowed Koberger to wear that suit and to not be shackled. They don't want to see him like that. They say, OK, for the trial, fine but they don't like seeing him. They say he almost looks like a business executive sitting there in the courtroom. Yeah, and what did you take away this time? Because look, you've been following them, you're in contact, you've spoken to them formally before. Uh, what stood out to you in this interview? They're fighters. They're the kind of parents that aren't gonna sit back and grieve quietly. They trust the prosecutor but they also feel like no one is going to fight for their daughter like they can. And they fought mm. to keep that house not uh, torn down. You remember that, Chris? They wanted to tear the yeah. house down. Um, and, uh, and they fought and they fought and they fought. And, uh, and the FBI ended up going back in the house after they, after they decided to keep the house up, which was a real victory for them. Uh, this is what they had to say about that. I knew in my heart what was best for those girls and that and, and Ethan I knew what was best was to keep that around until they did more and uh there'll be a point when I'll be like you know what let it go that is going to be sad to me and people think how can that like tear it down and it's just like look like my daughter lived a happy life there yes she was murdered there ultimately murdered but that was this much time you know she, we have pictures of them in the house. When that house goes, it is going to be hard. Yeah, I thought that the was FBI interesting, Chris. You in know, um, a lot of people want to see the house torn down. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. 
No, no, no. The FBI went back, uh, you're reporting, right? Recently. Yeah, they went back. I was out there last week. We had the video. Um, they were going in and out of the house. They did a whole new 3D map of the house, um, which, again, is, is like a victory for the family because they fought to keep the house standing. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.